guys and welcome to this uh, YouTube video today and today we'll be talking about uh, the Inca Golds, the Viva Decor Inca, Inca Golds. They come in uh, a lot of colors and I have a couple of them. They are extremely beautiful, luxurious colors which can make any surface look like a metal. They come sealed, tightly sealed in this uh, container and you just have to peel this uh, part and see they are so super creamy. Uh, they can be used by kids for their DIY projects as well as for face painting. They are absolutely non-toxic and uh, uh, they can be used on wood, they can be used on metal, they can be used on paper, they can be used into all, all the different kind of uh, surfaces which uh, have just started experimenting. Today's project will be using the Inca Gold in silver and uh, that will be the focus. See it is so easy to clean up the surface and you essentially have to use the craft mat. So let's begin. The first technique will be creating stripes with masking tape. This is almost like uh, creating your own stencil and I've just uh, uh, trimmed my masking tape in various uh, uh, thicknesses and I'm uh, trying to assemble it uh, on a black cardstock. Today all the cardstock uh, I have taken is black and uh, the color, Inca gold color is silver. So uh, let's uh, begin with this and I'm just layering and positioning my masking tape here and there randomly and once it's done I'll take my Inca Gold and uh, with a makeup blending foam I'll just start picking up a few of the paint from the container and I'll start rubbing it throughout the surface. It's uh, very very creamy and since it's a wax based paint uh, they run very smooth. Like you don't have to really struggle or uh, put a lot of pressure. It is absolutely creamy. So once it's done and dry, I am just pulling out the stripes and a gorgeous pattern is created. You can cut various uh, shapes of your masking tape if you have a broader one and uh, do a similar technique. It's very easy to uh, buff the surface and the more you buff, I mean buffing means just rubbing the surface with a dry paper dry tissue paper and the shine will increase the second technique is using Inca gold as spray I'll take a mini mister and will scoop out a little Inca gold the gray Inca gold and put it inside the mini mister take a sufficient amount so that a very a nice spray is created and it should not be extremely watery I'll just add few drops of water and then shake it vigorously I did not want to clog my spray uh, straw so I'm mixing it with a brush tip and once it's very well mixed we will be ready to spray It might take a little more effort to mix uh, the wax based paint with water and I suggest you should just be a little patient and uh, try to mix it with the brush and even shake it uh, vigorously. Once it is done, we will be ready to have the most gorgeous shimmery paint over a black surface. The surface I am using is uh, by Ink Essentials craft mat and it is a it is a must tool to have for all the crafters it cleans very easily this is my card cardstock and I'll just start spraying it over it and look at this this is so beautiful uh, I've just switched on my light so that you can see the reflections better and I'm just going to dry the entire surface with my heated tool Once the surface is all dry, we'll be ready to buff it again with the help of a dry tissue paper. Buffing helps to get the real shine and sheen which Inca Golds are absolutely famous for. Now 
Next one is a very very beautiful uh, technique. We'll be using embossing folders for this. Uh, I've chosen a beautiful paisley uh, folder and this ca black cardstock. I'll emboss this with the help of my cuttle bug and uh, we will experiment by using both the sides the debossed and the embossed side and we'll see and check out the uh, finish which we like. So I'm just uh, running my folder through my cuttle bug machine and uh, uh, beautiful I mean this paisley is always uh, a very beautiful pattern and uh, I hope it will be prettier when we add Inca gold over the surface check this out this is such a beautiful impression very very rich and uh, beautiful so I think we'll be going with the uh, deboss side first I will uh, start rubbing the Inca gold over this with the help of the foam and uh, let's see how does it turn up The next technique is using Inca Golds with stencils. We have some very awesome stencils at our store by Tim Holtz collection and I am using the spray over with a stencil in the first example. Uh, I have just laid it on my black cardstock and I am spraying the same mist which we have created by using Inca Gold and water. Once you have sprayed it very well just remove the stencil very carefully and allow this gorgeous surface to dry. This is a very artsy and a cool looking background which we can create. I have just used one color but definitely we can use multiple colors for this technique. So this is uh, spray over stencils and for the next uh, uh, technique which I want to talk is the very traditional one and there we will be using the Inca Golds directly over um, a stencil. This is another gorgeous stamp set by Tim Holtz collection called the Lace. I'm just trying to uh, position it on my black cardstock again and uh, with the help of uh, the same makeup blending foam I'll start picking up the concentrated uh, highly pigmented Inca Golds and I'll start rubbing it over the entire lacy stencil. This effect is uh, absolutely breathtaking and it looks so Victorian and beautiful I would love to have a dress or a t-shirt which looks which has some some prints like this but uh, it's something impossible which you can get definitely there is another possibility that we can use these stencils with fabric colors over our garments so that's another tip here and look at this this is such a beautiful print which has been made with the help of Inca Golds and I'm just buffing the surface again so, ha so as to achieve the real shimmer and shine. These are a few of the backgrounds which we have created today and uh, I will be using them onto my card and tag project. Uh, I hope you will like it. The next one is Inca Gold on wood. I have to add uh, a little wooden embe wooden embellishment in my project and this is just a very old uh, dress form wooden cutout lying around with me and I am rubbing the Inca Gold directly over it. Full concentration, no water and I am just trying to rub it again and again at one surface so that I can have a very highly pigmented coverage. It is quite easy to transform any of your wooden embellishments into metallic embellishments and uh, I'm using my fingertips as well as the foam to add uh, the Inca Gold properly on every nook and corner of this wooden embellishment. Once I'm happy with the coverage, I'll again um, buff the surface with the help of a tissue paper and allow this piece to dry. Next is Inca Gold on Metal Charms. I wanted to have a silver metallic uh, butterfly uh, on my project and since I had it in this old vintage gold, I wanted, I decided to add a little Inca Gold over it and see how it looks. It was very easy and uh, a beautiful 
silver was added here and there and it gave it a very antique platinum kind of a look and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to be used on my project today. I'm just rubbing uh, the entire butterfly with my fingers and here and there with the foam and once it was dry I buffed it with the dry tissue paper and uh, it was ready to be used and I love it. I'm so excited uh, to share this card with you which we created using all the various patterns and embellishments which we created using this one color Inca Gold. I uh, added a little pink, this hot pink in this card so as to jazz up the entire project and it is so super stylish. Uh, I have used the uh, first technique by which, uh, in which we created uh, this striped background with the help of masking tape here in the skirt and I've put a little strip here also then the second one was with spray uh, the mini mister uh, for which we use the mini mister here is the one with the stencil and this is the embossed one so I've tried to use all the pattern papers here uh, this is the butterfly which we uh, changed using the Inca gold silver color and this is the wooden embellishment which was just in a natural wood color. I added a few mulberry flowers, a little silver string, few sequences here and there and this ultra stylish hashtag style. This is a very dear card to me and uh, I'm very proud that I could create this. The second project which I want to share is a uh, for this little cute tag, I used the uh, pattern which we created with the help of the stencils and I've also altered these two little leaves, wooden leaves, wood veneer leaves with the help of Inca Gold and here are some beautiful uh, tattered angels uh, dies which I've added, some more bling and this is a perfect addition uh, to this card. I hope you liked this uh, glamorous ultra glamorous ultra stylish project which we created using the gorgeous inca golds thanks for watching see you soon